On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. These are the magpie implings. You need 6500 to capture them and when looting them you can obtain any of these fairly valuable items. But on top of that, at a 1 in 50 rate, you can also obtain hard clue scrolls. Buying and opening these is the fastest method in the game to obtain hard clue scrolls, but it comes at a very steep cost. Each impling is currently worth 27,000 GP, which makes each clue cost roughly 1.3 million GP. Now we're going to be buying these and opening them for hard clue scrolls in this video and the item we're going to be hunting for is the Robin Hood hat which has a drop rate of 1 in 1625. Now with hard crew skulls rewarding an average of 5 rolls per casket, this makes the hat a 1 in 325 chance to get from each individual casket I open. I've had this offering for 2 days before it completed and this is the exact amount of magpie implings I needed to be on rate for 325 hard clue scrolls. So hopefully I won't have to buy more because 440 million GP is already quite a lot of money. Now if I do lose this challenge, all the loot that I get from the clue scrolls is what I'm going to be giving away, but I will still track, as you can see at the bottom of my screen, all the loot that I get during the opening from the magpie implings, so you can follow along with how much money I'm still getting back from opening all of these from the 440 million that I spent. And there we go, that's the first hard clue scroll already, very lucky. Because I've never made a dedicated video to hard cruise goals, I never actually built all of these stash units for specifically hard cruise goals. I've done it for beginners, easy and mediums, but I think it's time to make the stashes for the hard cruise goals. These allow you to stash the costume items you need for a specific step right beside it, so this will speed up the process quite a lot if I build them all. My setup and inventory for completing hard clues is definitely not optimal, but I have a pretty decent house with a teleporter, so I'm actually using this a lot to get to different places instead of bringing a bunch of different teleports. And it definitely is safe to say that it would be quicker if I had every single individual teleport on me, but that would be a massive risk as I get so many wilderness steps on these hard clue scrolls, and I'd rather just go into the wilderness with this risk rather than having to bank between every single step that I get like this. And that is the first hard clue scroll of the grind, completed. Very briefly after the last one, we got another hard clue skull, and correct me if I'm wrong, I know there was a plugin for this, but I don't think I have it, and I think they just implemented an actual warning when you already have a clue scroll from that specific impling. That is actually going to be huge, because that means I can spam click them and not risk opening too many of them when I already have a clue scroll obtained. Also, I am well aware that my gear setup is not optimal for this. I unfortunately am missing quite a lot of diaries, so I am stuck with Fremenic Sea Boots 1. Well, I just got the one single step that I can't complete. You need Land of the Goblins completed, a pretty new quest. So I'm going to go and get this done because I'm probably going to get this quite a lot over 325 hard clues. Very quick and easy. It took like 20 minutes, Land of the Goblins completed. Let's go and get the clue done. That means I can now do every single hard clue scroll step there is and we get a casket from that, so definitely worth it. I actually get so happy every time I get one of these emote steps because look at my bank. I've been keeping every single one of these clue items in my bank, so putting them in stashes is going to free up a lot of bank space. One of the worst clue steps that I get is going here to Nate's Knot because I don't have a quick Releka teleport. I only have Fremenic Boots 1, which is the teleport to Releka, but I can only use it once per day because it's Fremenic Boots 1. So I actually had a look and I already have all the requirements needed to complete every single diary for the Fremenic Elite, which gives you infinite teleport with the Fremenic Boots, so I guess it's time to get this done. Before we continue, because you guys seem to have loved these runescape figurines last time so much, Crump has decided to sponsor another video. Recently they made a massive restock for the first time since last Christmas, and since only last time I spoke about this, the giant mole is completely sold out and Jad is going fast. All these figurines are super smooth, made in super heavy resin cast and painted using only a combination of airbrushing and hand brushing, giving each and every single one of them a glass or ceramic feel. A new addition was also just released, Commander Siliana, and she looks even more stunning in real life than in game, which is quite something. So if you want to get yourself some awesome decorative pieces from RuneScape straight to your room, click on my link in the description or pinned comment to get 20% off this week by using coupon code ALONE20 on checkout. 
Thank you so much to Crumb and his awesome figurines for sponsoring this video. I have now completed every single step on the Fremenic Diary except for the last one, 33 out of 34, because apparently you need 77 rune crafting for this if you boost all the way to 82 with Spicy Stew, but it doesn't even say anything about it. And I am 73 right now, so that is like a 10 hour grind to get to 77 with how slow rune crafting is. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to be worth it. Unfortunately, the Fremenic Boots 3 does not really give any additional benefits. It's still only one teleport a day, so I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. But I'm not one to step down from a grind, so here we go. 77 rune crafting coming in after this game ends. There it is. And we finally got the boost, 82 rune crafting, and that is now actually finally the full Fremenic Diary completed. XP lamps and the final pair of boots achieve the Fremenic Boots 4. We can now infinitely teleport with these. Look how good this is. This is going to be so good for every single Nate is not step and I guess 50k agility experience as well. This right here is a very special hard clue scroll and let me show you guys why. That is clue number 100 of the grind and we still have 11,400 magpie implings which is kind of on rate actually and I'm getting around 10 clues an hour done. And after I build this, this is actually the last stash unit as well, so after this I won't have to bring a hammer, saw and all that anymore, so that's going to save up some space and there's actually a way to see how many I have completed. On the wall in Watson's house you can click on a board and see basically every single stash unit and if you filled it, and for the hearts you can now see green check marks all around. Another 10 hours roughly have passed and we're now hitting 200 hard caskets. Look at all the imbling loot as well, it's stacking up so nicely. Well, I guess it was inevitable. I'm going to be dying here most likely. Yeah, a whole team logs in. This is actually the first time I've died in the wilderness while doing hard clue scrolls, and I've done like 250 hard clues at this point. But with protect item, I, yeah, I'm not really risking much. I got the scroll box saved, blowpipe, the dragon pickaxe, all the valuables. This is casket number 300. As I stated earlier, I'm getting around 10 an hour, so I've been doing clue scrolls straight, opening emblems for 30 hours at this point. We still have 1.2k mag by impling, so we're doing pretty good on raids. We are so close to the end and I only need 8 more caskets, but we did end up running out of mag by impling, so I bought another 500 for 15 million GP. It has been roughly 35 hours of just opening mag by implings and doing hard clues, and that is now the final one. Overall, we had to open 16,572 magpie implings for a total of 450 million GP to get 214 million GP back. So that means we're still 236 million in the negative. Over the course of this entire account, I've opened 368 hard clue scrolls and we're missing 50 collection log slots on the hard treasure trays collection log. So we're pretty much doubling that in this video and hopefully we can fill in a lot of these collection log slots. And I have at one time even achieved a third age Kai shield, so if we can get another third age in this video, it's unlikely, but it would be awesome. Masters are also 1 in 15 from hard clues scrolls, so we're going to be getting quite a lot of them, but I'll go through all the hard clues first, and then we get into the masters. I've now added the loot tracker at the top of the screen, so you guys can see how much I get from these caskets as I open them. Let's go with the first one for an example. There it is, 151k, and I'm going to be moving it actually slightly down there so it's easier for a viewing experience but let's get into it let's see what we can get oh my god i just have to take a break here 35 clues we've got six masters that is incredibly overrated, but I guess that's nice. A lot of masters stand up with. Did I just get a bunch of noted potions? I think that's ridiculously rare. It actually is, uh, 1 in 16,250, so not quite the best drop I could get. After this one, we're down to 200 caskets left, and actually, let's have a quick update of the collection log. We're now at 98 
collection log slot. So we have actually got 14 so far. And uh, I haven't got a master now for quite a while actually. So I guess it's evening out. But let's go ahead and continue. Oh, we actually got a very big casket here. Both Saradom in DI boots, which I actually got another pair earlier as well. And also a unique. That's 762k. Best one so far. Oh, oh, there we go. We actually got the Robin Hood out. It's on the ground. Uh, how many did it take? 206 of them. Actually, I guess 205 because I accidentally opened one after as well. All right, we actually get to keep all the loot from the clue scrolls. And by the way, there has been two masters I unfortunately have not been able to complete. But overall, we have got a good amount of them. So we should have a good opening of masters at the end as well. But look at that, that is the Robin Hood hat. And also, of course, we have got so many collection log slots. But let's go ahead and open the last 120 caskets. So even though I will get to keep everything from the opening from now on, from both the hearts and the masters, it's likely we're going to go into the negative. But let's keep opening. And we are down to the last 100 caskets, but of course, now it is all extra cheddar. I already won the challenge, and we have the Robin Hood at equipped. Another master. Oh, we get a second Robin Hood hat with only 16 hard caskets left. I guess uh, we can actually pick up all this loot and we'll just open all of these 16 last with commentary. We have actually been pretty good on rates on masters, but unfortunately I have not been able to complete all of them due to mostly and another master. Due to mostly my farming level, I'm 73 and there's a step that requires 85 and I've got that quite a lot unfortunately, but not this time. Master completed, let's continue the opening and maybe get another master before we end this with the last 10 caskets. And we do. Another master completed, let's go for the last 7 hard caskets, let's see if we get another- And we do, of course, and that is a stacked clue if anything. Unlikely to get another master, but let's see what we can get, another collection log slot, and it's going to be really- Oh my god, another ancient item back to back. It's going to be so interesting to see how many collection log slots I've actually got from this opening, and the last one is going to be no master. But that was some really stacked last clue scrolls, and we're now at 693 hard. Besides the two Robin Hood hats we got from this opening, we got 29 new collection log slots, so we're definitely inching closer on completing the entire hard collection log. And doesn't that look just great? Also, the list of loot was so extremely long that I have to show you guys on the side here. We made 42.8 million GP with an average of 132,000 GP per casket. And uh, look at all this. I guess I'll go through it slowly so you guys can see everything. But quite a lot of loot, I have to say. The uniques this opening was actually above what I expected. And 22 masters as well. But at the end of it, if we close this, we actually only managed to complete, I think, 18 masters. But that is still a massive master opening. I've only opened 44 masters on this account ever, so there's a good amount of uniques we can unlock with this opening of 18 masters. I'm going to open the first one here to see what it's going to be and see if the tracker works. It does 411,000 GP. So you guys can see at the bottom how much I'm making from this opening. Let's keep going. I'm actually geared up and ready for the Mimics. That we just got one. Alright, first Mimic completed. Let's see what we get. And we get... No way. No way we got the blood... What? I think this is one of the most difficult pets in the entire game to get. And we get it on a Mimic. No way that actually... Okay, 
This is the most hype video ever now. Holy shit, I gotta talk to it. Wait, let me drop it. Okay, that was unexpected, I gotta say. Okay, it doesn't say too much. I guess it's a dog, so yeah. Let's actually go down here. I think uh, Watson and I have something in common now. Where is his dog? Oh, there it is. Right outside here. That is one of the coolest pets I could have got on this account, I have to say. I mean, there's no way I can really beat that, but let's keep opening the caskets. I mean, third age, maybe. That could actually be something that beats that. Unique item for number, what was that, six? And we keep opening. No more mimics just yet, and no third age. Ah, samurai shirt already have that. Oh, I got a bank. All right, let's see if we can manage to get another mimic for maybe a third age item or just get one straight up from the last seven. Let's see what the first one is. Nothing too great. 500k second one. 226. That is a terrible one. 161k. All right, we're down to the last one. What is the verdict? Nothing too special, but I'm happy with that master opening. Bloodhound is insane. So after opening 325 hard caskets and 18 masters, we lost 187 million GP. But luckily, we did win the challenge twice over, getting two Robin Hood hats. So we get to keep the money, which is 48.9 million from all the caskets combined. And honestly, the loss of money is nothing to me compared to getting the Bloodhound. It is such a cool pet. And very few people in the game actually have it. Again, thank you so much to Crumb for sponsoring this video. Click my link in the description or pinned comment if you want to check those figurines out. They're honestly awesome. But until next time, guys, take care.